Hi everyone, this is English for All. Today we are looking with you how to do English better. Firstly, elementary learners can brush up some information with present simple and past simple for the verb to be. Intermediate learners continue studying past simple and there is a quiz for you to check how you understand new information. And for those learners who really feel the atmosphere for upcoming Christmas, we have prepared a video presentation where you can hear and see different origins of one popular symbol. It is Christmas tree. So let's get started. Don't waste your time and don't click your channel. All elementary learners continue studying verb to be in the past. If you remember, we started talking about this verb. Today you can learn how to build questions with this verb. And moreover, after the presentation you have a quiz. Try to do this quiz right and correctly. So, today we are going to talk with you about the verb to be and the verb to be in its forms in the past. In the following video presentation you will see how to use to the verb to be correctly and how to use it in a proper way. For example, when you build a question, you have to say was or were before the subject. I could say was I at the university? Were you in the room? Were we in the theater? Were you in the shop? And were they happy? Was he a student? Was it a computer? And that's the questions. Again, look at these questions attentively and remember that we use was were before the subject. When you give a positive answer, so you say yes, we usually say yes and subject plus were or was. For example, we say Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Yes, we were. Yes, you were. Or we could say, yes, they were. If you have he, she, it, you say, yes, he, she, it, was. When your answer is negative, you could say, no, I wasn't. Or, no, you weren't. Or you could say, no, we weren't. Or we say, no, you weren't. No, they weren't. When you have again he, she, or it, you say no, he, she, it, wasn't. Now let's go with you to practice. Let's take a look how you can practice the verb to be in the past. Look at the pictures and correct the mistakes. Were he in China? That is not really correct, because you should say was he in China. The next one is Was they in Rome last year? Again, if you look at the subject, you understand that is not pretty correct, because we say Were they in Rome last year? The next picture Were you in New York? Yes, I were. Again, not very correct. We say, were you in New York? Yes, I was. Was she happy after the university? The correct answer is, was she happy after university? And the final question is Where was you yesterday? I was in Paris. It's better to say Where were you yesterday? I was in Paris. You know we have a lot of actions we use in the past. Today we can learn with you how to use past simple properly. So let's watch the presentation and enjoy studying new grammar rules. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk with you about past simple and how to use past simple correctly in English. We are ready to start and let's take a look with you at the following presentation. So today I'm going to look with you how to build questions for past simple. You just say did plus subject plus a verb. For example, did I play? Did you buy? 
Did we go? Did they dance? Did he read? Did she write? And did it play? Look at the slide again and try to repeat the questions. Okay, here we go with you to the next slide. In this slide you can see that we use did I play or did you buy or did we go or did they dance. For this question we can give a positive answer yes, I, you, we or they did. If your answer is negative, you could say no, I, you, we, they didn't. So here we go to the next slide and let's take a look how we build other questions and answers. When you say did he win or did she read or did it play? For the following answers, you could say yes, he, she, it, did, or you could say no, he, she, it, didn't. So now you look at the slide again and try to correct it. But remember, in past simple questions you don't use the verb in the past, you use the first form of the verb. Let's take a look at the example. The first example is did you go to the cinema yesterday? We don't say went in the question. Remember, we always say the first form of the verb. So here we go with you to the next slide. Now our task is simple. You try to translate. And the translation is Did she buy a new car last year? Did she buy a new car last year? And the translation is Who bought new books in this shop? Who bought these books in your shop? The translation is where did you travel last year? Where did you travel last year? The translation is When did you start reading and writing? When did you start reading and writing? The translation is How much did they laptop Cost. How much did this laptop cost? A lot of people think about different symbols of Christmas. For some people, they are snow, making the snowman and taking up winter sports, skiing or skating. But for others, Christmas is always connected with decorations, tinsel, presents and of course one important thing – it's a Christmas tree. This Christmas tree brings joy and positive mood, so in the following video presentation we are going to tell you about the origin of Christmas tree. So watch this presentation very attentively. Hi everyone, Christmas is coming and we are going to talk with you about one important symbol – Christmas tree and its origin. Let's take a look with you at this tree and understand how the story began. Firstly, the evergreen for a tree has traditionally been used for celebrating winter festivals, pagan and Christian. For thousands of years, pagans used branches of it. And of course, nobody is really sure when fir trees were first used as Christmas trees. It probably began about 1000 years ago in Northern Europe.
But if you know it's possible that the wooden pyramid trees were meant to be like paradise trees, these were used in medieval German mystery or miracle plays in front of churches on Christmas Eve. The first documented use of a tree and Christmas and New Year celebrations is argued between the cities of Tallinn in Estonia and Riga in Latvia. Both claim they had the first trees. Some people say they had in 1441, and some people say they have in 1510. The world's tallest cut Christmas tree was 16 meters. Douglas fir erected and decorated at North Gate Shopping Center, Seattle, Washington, in the USA in 1950. So let's take a look with you at new words. The first word is evergreen. Evergreen tree means that tree that is very, very green all seasons and year all round. A fir tree is a kind of a Christmas tree we set at home to make Christmas coming better. And a pine tree is a new tree we use to decorate and to make Christmas mood better. Set a Christmas tree is a process when we set this tree to make a decoration for Christmas season. Okay, you've done a lot of work today. We have learned the new rules for you to use with the verb to be in the past. You remember important information for the past simple and you know really interesting information about one symbol bringing good mood and relaxation for you. It's Christmas tree. So I wish you good progress in studying English, ideal results in learning and speaking English. Have a nice day, take care and goodbye.